think I've stumbled across perfection. Welcome, Napple. <laughs> yeah, they got a fright once they really looked at my face. Well, I'm a week late to the uh, to the game. Recovering from COVID, I'm finally here. I've tried to stay away from a lot of information, but uh, it's kind of unavoidable. It's been all over the YouTube feed. We are in the world. Fast travel is really nice. Now there's a couple little spots. I kind of know a little bit about just the starting area, if you can even call it a starting area. Not sure if it is, but this area that you spawn in. I didn't have a voice for about a week. I could not talk, so I had a little bit of a fiddle around just by myself. So we are just going to be following the tutorial in the top right for now. A castaway been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. Uh, they gave me ten wood. I could probably find ten wood. Well, there's two right there. I could probably find ten wood in about ten seconds. But uh, I appreciate it. Open the build menu, select a primitive workbench, set up a build location. Um, I think anyone that has played the game, I don't know what this shiny thing is, that actually doesn't look very familiar to me. What is this? Small pal soul. Okay, I don't... I don't think I've uh, actually picked one of those up before. This is going to be a case of us. Basically, anything we see, we're going to pick up. Some pretty cool... Little pals, I am a fan of all the designs, so if you've been keeping up with what people have been saying online, there's obviously a little bit of controversy, how much has been borrowed from Pokemon, how much hasn't. Um, I don't really care, it's a fun game, and I think that's been the general consensus of most people. And I think game designers should be focusing more on making fun games instead of... Uh, Know, optimizing top dollar and, and what have you. So, I've got my eye on this little area here. I've got a feeling, um, you know, as this is where you start, it kind of looks like the first decently sized flat open area. So, I've got a feeling most people probably do build there. Um, I haven't been watching other play uh, playthroughs of, of, of other people on YouTube or Twitch. So maybe I'm being incredibly generic here in my choice, but uh, whatever. Let, let's just hope you, dear viewer, have not uh, been feasting on the content and uh, everything you're about to see is stuff that you've already seen. But to me, it looks like the area has most of, thing, most of the things you would want. It has trees, it has stone, it even has uh, whatever this thing was called. I can't remember, but it's a... Like a metal, I guess. Has uh, the blue ones nearby. It kind of feels like this area was purposely made for people to build a starter base, especially with the uh, nice waterfall there. You could keep going down, and I mean, it's a decently decent sized map. I'm sure there's many, many really nice places to build, and maybe we will get to explore them. Mr. Chicken, Chickapee, Dinosum, Dinosong, that is not something we're going to be uh, messing with anytime soon, but uh, let's claim this spot as our own, you can see there's a green thing over there we probably need to go and pick up, but just for now, uh, 
Uh, open the build menu, select primitive workbench, and we are going to build this. Just for now, let's plop it over here, I guess. And hold F to build. Have our first workbench. Open the build. Oh, I've already done that. Sorry, open the technology screen from the menu. We've got lots of points, actually. I should enhance my stats. All the, all the usual stuff. There's a lot of stuff in common with Ark, this game. In fact, I would assume it, Ark was the primary place they got ideas for. As with Ark, I feel like health is a must. Stamina is useful to an extent. Attack is probably pretty useless. Work speed's probably pretty useless. And weight is handy as long as you're carrying things. Uh, but if, then if you're never going overweight, then that's also useless. So for now, I think we start off with... Let's get to maybe 150 stamina. And then we'll go a little bit of weight, and then we'll just go all health. And we have a lot of things to learn. Power box, power sphere, campfire, wooden chest, repair bench, wooden structures. I mean, we probably don't need to build these immediately. Let's get a bow and arrows. Still got points. Bed for me, bed for pals cloth so we can eventually make clothing got two points left i guess we do get the wooden structure set craft pal sphere that is not something we're going to be able to do yet oh no <laughs> apparently we can i am not going to rush into that though i actually want to make some tools first um stone is the thing we have the least so let's make a pick a pickaxe in fact our pickaxe we need a, a, a bit of stone, and then we'll be able to make the uh, other one as well. That'll be enough right there. The stone axe, that's for cutting wood. Let's make ourselves a torch, because why not? We'll need that if night time comes. If I know any kind of survival game like this, torch is always going to be handy. And a club for defending ourselves. Okay, so we want to make some pal spheres, and pal spheres are going to be something that we want uh, infinitely, basically. We're going to want a lot of those. So, what I might do is farm out this immediate area just for now. Pick up all the stone, pick up all the wood, um, and we'll get to crafting. Alright, let's make some pal spheres. I think we can make all eight. Yes, we can. Let's not hold back. We're gonna go on a catching spree. Do you know a couple of things about the game? Pretty much everything you do in the game can give you experience, similar to Ark. Um, one of the things I do know, which was something that I didn't understand the first time I did have a little bit of a fiddle around, was that catching multiples of pals is very beneficial. You don't want to go around just getting one of each, which is uh, was definitely my instinct. Attack pals to weaken them, and press Q to throw a pal sphere. I can definitely do that. <laughs> Maybe not that one. All right, Chickapee, you are gonna be my first pal if I don't kill you. Chickapee, extremely weak and far too delicious. It is one of the weakest pals alongside the lamb ball. No matter how many are hunted, they just keep appearing. You won't be able to effectively use pals at a higher level than you. Their abilities will be lowered to match those of your character level. Build a pal box in an open space. Now this is the most important thing I'm gonna do. Here it is, pal box. Facility for storing captured pals. Pals inside gradually recover HP area around this facility becomes a base and that is the most important thing this actually decides uh, a lot about what we're going to be doing with the base and how big it can be i know in my first little mini playthrough that i did i, I played maybe four hours um, offline just to get a little bit of a feel for the game see if uh, you know I, I couldn't talk but i wanted to 
give it a try. And uh, one of the mistakes I made, of course, was I built my pal box right next to a wall. Uh, that is not what you want to do. You want to put it in the very middle of a large open area. What do we need? We need some wood. Also getting fiber from these trees, which is definitely something we're going to need. Looks like it's slowly becoming an afternoon. Okay, so... We want to try and pick the middle. Let's get a bit of a bird's eye view here. Another thing that's different from Ark, you can climb up... Well, it's not exactly different from Ark, because... You can do that in Ark, it's just not really a, a base ability, per se. Comes in a li little bit later to the game. While I'm here, though... Lamball. You were in the description of the other guy. You two are the, th the two weakest in the game. You're gonna be my friend now. And as I learned previously... There's no reason not to get more than one or something. So as long as we have pal spheres, we're going to be catching things. Okay, so let's do this before night falls. So if we want to pick a middle-ish area, we, we want to limit uh, the amount of area we lose to water and cliff face. So I'm going to guess maybe around about there. Let's give it a try some point we will have the opportunity to make a second base as well so uh, we can learn from our mistakes that we may or may not make here let's make it face the other way all right get out here and oh chickapee seems like you cannot help me what about one of these sheep yeah you can you can help me. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. We now have a base. The base is, you can see a, a little bit of a blue marker there. It's a little bit hard to see. Which could be considered a good thing that we can't really see the edge. Um, or the border. Here it is. So it's coming right down here, all the way along, and it creates a, a giant circle. And it's looking like we've pretty much got this entire area with a little bit up there as well. I don't know if we would use that, but hey, we've done it. Let's have a look at what we have here, actually. So Chickpea, different pals have different things that they can help you with around camp. So Chickpea has level one gathering, level one farming. Whereas our sheep friend here has level one handiwork, which is why it was uh, able to help us build that uh, power box. It can move things for you, and also level one farming. They also have random abilities that they can get. So this one has capacitator, uh, plus 10% increase to lightning attack damages. Don't know if that's going to help us very much early on. Power of Gaia increased to earth attack damages. Chickapea had work slave. Works, ooh, work speed plus 30%. So Chickapea, although it doesn't have as many skills that I particularly want, um, Chickapea is going to help us. Maybe. Regardless, let's put Lamball. He is now permanently at the base until I change my mind. Okay. <laughs> and Lamball's just going to run around and help me build things. And do whatever it is capable of doing. Okay, so when night falls, the temperature does drop. That means I'm going to start getting cold. Cloth outfit. Um, we're also going to have stone spear. Feed box to feed our pals. That's all the points we have right now. So before I start freezing my butt off. Let's see if I can remember. Here we go. We don't have much. We've only, we don't have much wool. Where is the Lamble? Oh, he was off doing something else. Anyway, your services are not required. What do I need? I need another cloth. So that means I'm either going to have to go and catch or kill another of these lambs. 
the torch I'm holding right now will protect me from the, uh, the cold. As soon as I put this torch away, though, I'm going to start uh, taking some damage from the cold. Do see a land ball up here. And while we're here... Where's oh, my club? I want one of these cats. Oh. Why not? Two. Round. Hativa, at a glance it appears full of confidence, but is in fact weak and cowardly. And I couldn't read the rest. And I've accidentally killed that one, because I am just too powerful. But, we've got uh, a couple more around here. We've got a human over there, the Wandering Merchant, who is really trying to get away from me for some reason. Uh, I guess he's heard the reputation of Napple. Napple the man-eater. Let's grab some more Lambles. You'll see in my tutorial, there is a quote-unquote mission to catch five of these, so... Why not? And I'm... The crit I'm getting off the start, because they're well, not a crit, but doing extra damage to these early on. Because they're asleep. I was messing up my timing there a little bit. What do we have down here? Uh, picked up Castaway's Journal 2. That will be in the memos. Here it is. As I explored around on foot, I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. Looks like this is just going to be information about what a uh, PAL sphere is and the fact that it can catch PALs. I already know that. Thank you for the memo, though. <laughs> Sorry to this uh, little fellow here. It seems like he's just going to live in the water for now. In a comatose state. It's just a little bit more powerful than I thought I would be. So let's go and make our outfit so that we don't freeze to death. I'm starting to get hungry. Definitely take care of that. Make a cooking fire right after we make our cloth outfit. This one's taking a little bit. I would be nice if uh, one of my little friends would help me. I don't know if they can. Handiwork. Job's done. Now, they didn't used to call me a fashion expert, but I think that's pretty fashionable. Bit of an Eastern flavor to it. All right. Now we're safe from the elements. We're not freezing anymore. I am getting hungry, though. So, let's make a campfire. This will actually help us from the cold as well. Not that we, uh, not that we need it right now. Not too sure where I should put this. I might just start putting a couple of these things in the middle of camp and then moving them later once I get a better idea of what my camp layout's going to be like. Alright, so we did pick up plenty of berries before. I'm going to turn those into baked berries, which do look a lot like meatballs. Although I do seem to be making a drumstick and eggs with, I don't know what those are, little carrot circles, maybe slices of sausage, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is going to take a minute. Alright, I grabbed a bunch of those, I'm going to let the rest just cook by themselves. Because this is enough for me for now. So, beyond the tutorial, which is only really going to be helping us at the start, there are some greater missions, per se. And they're going to be involved with the PAL box, and that's with the base upgrade. Uh, if we want to get more and more PALs working for us, if we want to be able to set up a second base, we have to keep doing these. You can see we're at level 1. We've already deployed a PAL to the base. We need to build a wooden chest. And I have a feeling we're quite capable of that. Maybe not. We do not have enough wood. I know how to fix that, though. This is uh, quite a lot of trees here. Let's just say this is probably going to be for our wood. Oh, I've got 
two sheep on the work here. Don't think the second one's going to make it though. Start chucking wood in that one when these guys start cutting it down. Obviously got stone here. I'll put one right next to, to this bad boy. You know what, let's, let's give it a few strikes so I remember what this is called. So this is ore. Get these as well. These give you the, the, uh, the blue stones required for making pal spheres. Either way, we've put our box down for now. That is going to allow us to upgrade our base. Base level 2. We can now employ two pals. Next mission, build a shoddy bed. Before we do that though, who is our second worker going to be? We've now got two cats. Cats are decent workers. Um, so they are similar to the sheep, except they can also do the, uh, the green one, which is gathering. We like gathering. Workaholic, that sounds good. Uh, sand drops 15% slow. So sand, I believe, is kind of like, kind of like their happiness. When that gets lower, whether it's through them getting hungry or getting tired, they will stop uh, being cooperative. Coward attack minus 10%, that should be fine if he's just going to be hanging around at base. Workaholic, I'll give you, I'll grant your wish. You have varying levels that these skills can be. The three stripes is the strongest, I believe. Okay, this is what I wanted to have a look at again. Yeah, so build a shoddy bed. Um, we can already make a shoddy bed, but this is going to require um, to be on some wood. So we've got to think about where are we going to make a, a house of sorts. And probably... Probably right against the stone area. It's going to be our best bet. So we're going to be putting down the foundations for our first time. We don't want it to be getting in the way of anything. Don't want it to be here so the stone won't spawn or anything like that. All this stuff respawns uh, pretty quickly. Maybe we try and put it here in this corner and maybe uh, move the workbench. Oh, whoops. The controls are a little bit different than Ark, which is what I'm used to does uh, make me hit the wrong buttons every now and then. So if I do this, yes, yeah, so I can, I can move this very much. Let's start this. There we go. Oh, I don't, don't like that the angle of the wood's different. Oh my god. It must be, yeah, it's the way that you look at it. Oh, that is a big elephant. Not sure what I'm going to do with this or why it's so big. I think this is just a purely visual fun thing. <laughs> we were just doing this so that we could make a bed. Uh, and let's do that now. I hope our guys are going to be able to access this tree without any too many issues. All right, so now here's our bed. I'm doing a great job of uh, setting that bed up. All right, bed is there. Mission complete. Won't worry about any walls yet. Oh no! Oh, I took away the primitive bent, uh, workbench. That's fine. We'll put that back down. Let's do this. Insufficient materials. We're out of wood. That's okay. So before I forget what it is I'm trying to do here, doing that. Would be nice if there was a way to. Uh, not go into the menu every time you want to put one of these down. It probably is, and I just don't know it. Here we go. That's kind of what I had in mind. Out of wood again. Anyway, I've got a decent idea what I'm doing there. I can ignore that for now. <laughs> in fact, I would say this definitely took up more room than I uh, had originally planned for it to take up. How's our meat going? Our berries coming along nicely. All right. I do notice we've got a uh, little message on our info on the right. Pals without beds will get stressed. Has been there for a little while. Um, so we should, we should 
make some pal beds. Make sure our guys are staying happy. As you can see the cat, his San, is at 74. Can't see the lamb ball. He's at 100. Do we put them on the porch? That kind of takes away uh, what the porch can do. That's just for now while we're still figuring this out. We'll, we'll just chuck these down. Chuck these down anywhere. I know we're going to be expanding pretty quickly, so we'll chuck a few beds down. I only need two at the moment. So we need to put our workbench down again. And you know what, let's just let's just put it here. And we can have anyone that's ever working at the workbench, they can be staring at me while I'm sleeping. I like the idea of that. I will inspire them to work harder. They'll be like, oh, there's Master Napple. With his beautiful hair. Manicured beer. Beer. Beard. Base level three achieved build a feed box I can definitely do that but it's not an issue knock some of this out pretty quickly uh, I need some more wood so I'm keen to go and catch a few more friends there's plenty of uh, interesting looking creatures I can see from my base that we haven't had before got these black owl looking creatures I'm sure they're only around at night so not sure why uh, there's still one up now. And for now, you know what, we might as well put this near. Near where they sleep. Since I am a generous god of, of, nap, of apples, let's give them all of my baked berries. I can always make some more. In fact, we are still cooking more. Take one for myself. Um, was that all we needed? It was. All right. Base level four. Berry plantation and work as well. We can already chuck a few more on there. Let's put old Chickapee on there. Since he is a work slave, he can drop eggs as well. It can be picked up. I think beyond that, I'd like to go and... Uh, no, let, let's put cats here. These cats are pretty decent at uh, doing a bunch of different things. Let's get some blue stone. Make a bunch more pal spheres. And then it's exploring time. There's a whole big world out there. Who knows how many different creatures there are. We're going to need a lot of pal spheres to catch them all. Gotta catch them all, as they say. Lift Monk Effigy. Collect Lift Monk Effigies and offer them to a statue of power to improve your ability to capture powers. Sounds good. I don't have a statue of power. That'll no doubt come in handy. That was all the blue stone I could see in the immediate area. I can see a few just hanging around camp. I'm not sure what these slackers are doing supposed to be picking these up and delivering them for us. I guess the sheep is just uh, delivering some other stuff first. Let's make some balls. I want to go catch that uh, black owl. Twelve. Sounds good. Oh, we need another pal bed as well, I just realized. I thought we were future-proofing future ourselves when we put uh, three down. Little did I know. I was wrong. We'll say I miss the uh, hotkeys of Ark a little bit, where you can just select an item straight away. You do have to scroll through the uh, mouse wheel. Weapon is damaged. That is going to make things a little bit more complicated. We are going to need a repair bench. We can put that right here. This, is, this takes a little bit longer to build. But we can see we've got some reinforcements coming over. Tools that are damaged are going to give you a lot less yield when used. And repairing is often 
Very simple. In fact, we should repair a couple of these that are about to break. Good to see our little fellas are also breaking down the, uh, the blue stone as well. There we go. You guys should be happy now. I see blue. Pick up. <laughs> and that was a lot. Um, time for another storage box. Hmm. Yes, uh, probably good enough. So this was stone, so I'll put all my stone in this box. My wood was over on the other side. Probably get a few more pal spheres now as well. There was a chicken off the edge. I hope that wasn't my chicken. You, you're not mine. Excellent. <laughs> you know what? I know you're never getting out of here. Let me do you a favor. There you go. I wouldn't mind having a bow as well. Let's make a bow before we leave. So I need 30 wood. That's quite a bit more than what we currently have. The like saying most things early on cost quite a bit of wood. Luckily, wood is probably the most readily available resource to, to farm. I want to put another one of these. Oh, you know what? No. It's a little bit of a waste. There's one that close already. Build a berry plantation. I'm not going to worry about that yet. Here we go. Make one of these short bows. Or an old bow. Is this my chicken as well? I think it is. I'm not sure what he's doing. And, of course, we're going to need some arrows as well. We might as well make... Uh, might as well make... English is difficult for me today. Make a few more arrows. My little cat here is not too happy. Not sure why he's getting so sad. Maybe I'm overworking him a little bit. I'll tell you what I do want. I want another couple of lambs. Thought I was just going to get one more hit in there. i got to catch this foot. we got a bunch of thugs running over here to, to kill this guy. Don't worry, guys. I've got it under control. You don't have to fight anymore. How do I make the UI come up? There we go. So it's actually nearly night time. Probably not the best time to uh, go exploring. I'm going to go get a bit more wood. Because I know we're going to be out of wood again very shortly after making all that. Finish farming around the base, and then when night falls, we might actually go for a little bit of a wander. See if we can get any creatures of the night. And alarm bell. Bell that sets the alert status for pals on base. So I can hit that if we get under attack, I will get that. I haven't tried a shield before. Strange shield made with Paldium technology. Repairs itself when not taking damage. Um, I'll learn it. I, I, I don't know what how, what it actually does. Berry plantation is what we were just uh, asked to get. Seven points left. Parachutes are really cool. Glider for soaring through the air. Not very useful without a lot of stamina. But it, there is some, some good uses for it regardless. Power gear workbench will be very important as well. Statue of power, we've heard about that before. And we will get a ranch as well. We just don't quite have the points for it at the moment. Oh, okay, we've learned a lot. I feel like we've barely left our base for this entire time. And I'd like to. I'd like to go exploring. Need to make some cloth, but there's uh, so many arrows cooking here. I don't want to abandon them either. I feel like the brief time that I did play, um, you know, using arrows, and it's very easy to run out of them, so I like having a big supply. Oh, our cat's gone off somewhere. I think everyone has decided it is sleep time. So I'm on my own for now. Let's make some of that cloth. And that's 
all we needed to make the gear bench. Not sure we'll necessarily be using this immediately. But uh, hey, we've got all of our little benches here now. That's going to take a little while to make. I might leave that for one of our friends once they're up and about. Statue of Power. Mm. We've got plenty of resources to make it. Uh, not really too sure where to put this. Maybe we could put it here. Kind of out of the way. That's a minute to build. Little fellas can take care of that as well later. Berry Plantation. Maybe up the side. That'd be nice. Now there's a stone that uh, gets built here. Don't want uh, to stop that from spawning. I, I don't even know if that's what happens. I just, it just seems like a safe assumption that if you build something over the top of a respawn point that it won't respawn anymore. Right. Okay, seeding. Seeding takes a while as well. I'm not going to worry about that later. I'm not going to worry about that. I will worry about that later. English is very hard today. Once again, this is my first day back recording after having COVID for a week where I couldn't talk. My brain is definitely still not functioning correctly. Okay, we're now base level five. Uh, Build Palgear Workbench. We... Oh, it's not complete yet. Statue of Power, not complete. Those are going to take care of themselves once our guys wake up. For now... Let's go catch some night Pokemon. Mm. 